Right, good afternoon again, everybody. Um, week two of the UK's lockdown, so I thought I'd spend 10 or 15 minutes um, doing another line drawing um, in my Sea White sketchbook, as ever. Here's the reference picture. This is a cottage in a village called Chapel Style in the Langdales in the uh, English Lake District. Um, features a couple of my very favourite things to draw. Dry stone walls, gates and a building and there's some nice landscape. So let's get cracking. Uh, just a word about the pen I'm using. I'm using this Copic Multiliner. 0.1. Uh, this is different to my usual pen that I use. I usually use these Unipin fine lines, the disposable ones, but this one is um, slightly different. It's an aluminium barrel. The nibs are, um, are rechangeable and they're refillable. You just pull in, you just pop in a new cartridge when the ink runs out um, and you can change the nibs. But there's a there's an ink cartridge ready to go in and some spare nibs um, so a bit more environmentally friendly than just throwing away a plastic barrel anyway let's crack on um, here's the a5 thing page and let's get started um, I'm going to try and talk you through my process for this one I start with um, something in the near foreground which uh, is the telegraph pole might seem an odd thing to do but drawing in ink first um, it's easier than working from back to front as you would do with a pencil sketch so Working from front to back, um, dry stone wall, there's kind of a big, big pile of stones here that I can't quite see. Um, the reference photograph isn't clear. Um, and obviously, let me just say right now that working from a reference photograph is nowhere near as rewarding or fulfilling as actually being out in the fresh air and drawing um, from life as it were but at the moment obviously we're all kind of prevented from from doing that so this is the next best thing um, as restrictions ease and we're allowed to go back out again, I might try um, filming a, a demo, a demonstration drawing actually out in the field somewhere. When I say in the field, I don't actually mean in a field, I mean the field as in outdoors or if you want to be a bit more artistically correct on the plein air um, so right this is the the first pass at the line work um, it's a very fine pen it's a 0.1 and as the sketch progresses I will this is the gate I will actually um, film the next stage in the development of this sketch will be to add some watercolour washes to the drawing um, so that'll be part two and then the stage after that will be part three which is where I go back over the drawing and emphasize certain lines to give a bit more depth and distance to the 
to the scene. Um, but for now, everything's going to be drawn with the 0.1, fairly fine, fairly loose, fairly sketchy. Um, I haven't yet decided what will be left unpainted as is my normal style but I think given the fact that um, the main subject the cottage itself is whitewashed I think it's a fairly obvious choice that um, I'll use colour elsewhere and leave the cottage white. Um, there'll be some there'll be some colour obviously in the landscape surrounding the cottage. Um, but I may in fact depart from my the usual <coughs> oh, excuse me. from the usual uh, process of leaving kind of man-made objects white. Sorry, not white, but uncolored. Um, but at the moment, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that the um, this wall could probably benefit from being featured. So let's get this window in. Again, I'm trying to get into the habit of doing this kind of contour style, contour drawing style where I don't lift a pen or lift it fairly infrequently. I think it gives the line a lot more liveliness. Uh, let's see, there's another window there. And again, as I always say in in workshops that I run, workshops I'm kind of missing actually in the current situation. It's um, it's great being able to draw um, as I am, but uh, it, it kind of miss the interaction with other people and and all the nice feedback and and help but as I always say um, that um, when I'm doing windows I kind of I like to fill them in with with a succession I, I suppose technically it's cross hatching although the lines are all in one direction um, But with a fixed, with a pen that's got a fixed nib width, you, you can't vary the lines. So it's kind of, in your hatching, you're always going to get white lines in between. Your pen lines, you're going to get the, kind of the, the, uh, the white of the paper showing through. So, when I get to the painting stage, um, which I'll do in a couple of days, film and then upload it. Oh, there's some more greenery there. A um, bit of a fence, a bit of a ramshackle fence. Um, I'll demonstrate what I do because I always use a something like a Payne's Grey or a shadow colour. Um, to go over the window panes. Bit of artistic license there because I've actually added a window in that it's kind of, strictly speaking, it's behind the, um, behind this stone. Um, 
Right, okay, so that's that done. All of this here is in shadow, so I'll probably um, use paint to do that. So a few more details on this foliage so it doesn't just like, look like a, just a random squirrel. Put some shading in there to give some depth. Right, okay, the road comes there, and the wall kind of there. I should say that this, is, this isn't really meant to be, and nor should it ever be, um, a detailed architectural drawing with every detail present and correct. Um, it's a sketch. It's, this is kind of the level I would expect to do. Let's see, the foliage comes across here. This is kind of the level of, of uh, information I would expect to, what's going on there, expect to capture. Let's make this go right to the top and the bottom. So it effectively helps the composition. Um, now there's something going on here, let's see what this is. It's kind of the, it's an extension I think, it's a uh, slope roof extension. I think there's um. so I need to bring this wall, I think there's a, a recessed door or a window in there, so let's put that in there to make some sense. Um, yeah, so for now, for now I think we're nearly at the end of stage one, um, of this, except while I've got the pen, I'll go back to, uh, and I'll try and demonstrate, look, this is, this is kind of the, the method I like to get a profile line around the top edges of features um, and this will kind of help to bring the this stone wall forward from the cottage and the garden behind and it kind of makes a bit more sense of the shapes and, and what can look like a mess of lines. And it just gives a bit more definition. There's a gate post there. And this is a slightly heavy pen. This is a 0.2 that I've used just to emphasize that. And I might, um, the light's coming from this direction, so what I might do is put a bit of shading on certain, certain of the stones of the upright. Um, I think these are called cover stones at the tops. Um, and there'll be some shadow underneath there. And again, all of this area that's currently just very sketchy and not got much shape to it or form, not much depth actually. It's just at the moment, it's just like a two dimensional pattern. Um, what I will do, I've already there, I've, I've kind of decided what I'm going to do. That's the lane, um, is to I'm just going to put put some colour on this wall there. I've, yeah, I've decided. Um, colour on the wall, colour on the foliage, kind of leave this cottage in well. Leave the cottage just described. Nearly miss this flipping window out there, look. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I, I shall leave the cottage described just in in uh, line work. Um, use pen. For the cottage so there you go that's my line drawing oops i think i may have not not the camera a bit there that's my line drawing of end cottage in chapel style thank you see you for part two and part three have a great day everybody bye